Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs, and welcome to your reading. So this reading is timeless, so whenever you come across it is when the messages may resonate with you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated. So to start your reading off, we are going to dive into the Sacred Power reading cards. The energy that wants to come out for you at this time, we have the card of Communication. Listen carefully, speak clearly, and with confidence. We communicate with others using verbal and nonverbal techniques, our body language. Listening skills and attitude determine how effective we are as communicators. It takes work and effort to improve our communication skills and with patience, they will develop over time. Miscommunication occurs when we are unable to listen to other people. Arguments, mistakes, and conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or negotiate. At the heart of all relationships is communication. Hidden messages can be seen by looking at body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Improvements in these areas help to support solid friendships and relationships. Speak with truth and integrity. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't be impatient and intolerant. This could lead to misunderstandings and actions that once said cannot be taken back. Spiritual communication is high right now. Take notice of these signs and symbols from the spirit world as they try to connect to you through music, feathers, butterflies, dragonflies, moths, birds, and number sequences. Be open to receiving these messages as they come from the heart with love. Right now you are asked to listen with empathy and understanding to those around you. Place yourself in another, in another person's shoes to gain a new perspective. There are better ways to get messages across. Be respectful and open-minded when speaking to others. Lead by example and express yourself diplomatically with honesty and dignity. It is better to communicate your feelings instead of being burdened by them. When you discuss your issues, you allow space for solutions to be negotiated and resolved and improve your current state of affairs. It is important that you avoid committing to plans and projects if you don't have all the information. Ask for more details and when appropriate, speak to professionals such as counselors, financial advisors, solicitors, or teachers. Never be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. That's why we have professionals. So the affirmation of this card, you may like to repeat after me. I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. So now we're going to dive into the Ethereal Visions Tarot. I want to take a look at past, present, and future energies for Libra. Past energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs. Present energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs. Ooh, so the past energy, we had the card of ma the magician. So the magician is symbolizing having all of your your elements in balance, your emotions, your passions, your intellect, and your physical life. There may be some sort of circle that came to a close with the Ouroboros here, the snake eating its tail in the past. The magician connected to Mercury, the magician connects the spirit to the physical. He represents as above and so below. He is the master of all four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. He is telling you that you hold all the tools to manifest your desires into reality. Creativity, skills, focus, and desire are the forces he reveals to you in order to accomplish any goal. Skill, confidence, action, concentration, and accomplishment. In the present energy, we have the card of strength, which is um, Leo's energy. So 
So right now you may be um, required to have some strength through whatever is going on through your, your journey at this time. The strength card reminds us that true power comes from within. Through patience, gentleness, and compassion, one can overcome obstacles without resorting to physical aggression. The woman and the lion signify that we need to tame the beast within ourselves and find balance. Inner calm, courage, control, and patience. So it's kind of interesting because from my Oracle deck, the um, Raven's Song, we do have the Divine Masculine with Leo's Energy, your inner sun. So this may be a call to work with um, strengthening your solar plexus chakra. And the underlying energy, we have your energy, Libra, of awareness, bringing balance between your passion and emotions. And I will come back to those cards. We have the card of Temperance. And the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is in the future and represents um, feeling grounded and stable in your own environment, feeling happy and content in your physical life. But it's almost like before you get obviously to the future energy, there's a need to temper and balance one's own energy. Which is no surprise, right? We did have the card of strength. It's almost like strengthening your resolve here. So the card of temperance. Sagittarius, temperance appears when there is a need for balancing for a balance of opposing areas in your life. You're being asked to be patient and re-examine priorities in your life that are in disharmony. Temperance assists us by pointing you to life's meaning and purpose. Balance, harmony, purpose, and moderation. And then in the future, the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles can represent luxury, success, reward, and appreciation. So the Nine of Pentacles always shows a solitary woman by herself in her own garden that she has created and manifested, right? So there may be certain things from the past that you put intentions out and in the future they are manifesting, but there's a call for balance and patience through your inner strength to see things through here. We do have the luminescent here, the um, figure eight sideways, which is connected to the heavens, letting you know that you are divinely protected with the four of pentacles as the underlying energy, suggesting exactly that you are safe and secure in your home environment and um, a call to feel safe and secure within your own being. We do have the world here. So you may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders or there's cycles or patterns that are repeating. And that's where this strength comes to evolve through these cycles. There could be definitely some sort of fear or anxiety with the nine of swords. You may be having um, trouble sleeping at night, getting weird messages, um, perhaps even nightmares. But this could be communication from the divine realms trying to access you. So there is some sort of fear here. But what you need to know is there is a new beginning and you're stepping into your own energy here with the Queen of Swords. There may be truths coming to light. You may need to express your truths. Um, definitely would make sense with the communication, right? You have this little bird here on her shoulder. So it's, you may be, um, it's kind of like that saying, what is it? A little birdie told me so. Right? So you may get messages from the divine or another person after a time of feeling perhaps um, betrayed, backstabbed, feeling left out in the cold. So let's dive into the Oracle's guidance with the Divine Masculine, masculine of Leo's energy. Cast all of shadow... Cast off all shadows and leave behind the darkness of night and lower vo vibrational mind. The sun, com sun comes out to shed some light, waking all in its path to celebrate life. The Divine Masculine wishes to lend you his energy at this time. Use the sun's logic to harness willpower and walk forward on your journey with light in your heart and gratitude in your soul. Just one second. So 
sorry, I just noticed a typo in this card. We have cast of, it's supposed to be cast off all shadows, so I gotta correct that. And then the underlying energy, we have your energy, Libra, with balance of awareness. The element of air speaks to your mind through the cleansing of wind and spirit divine. The wind blows and the air starts to seek. The visions of mind within the heart's beat. Can you hear the call? It is time to trust the wind of change. Can you listen to its guidance through its direction and change? Let the wind clear and purge your energy at this time to cleanse your energy from the secrets within. Let the wind move through you and breathe deep. So this could be um, a call to focus on the breath, meditation, strengthening your lungs and clearing your um, energy and body with the um, element of air. If you are outside and it is windy, you can imagine the air kind of moving through your body and cleansing any old um, energies, any old cycles. We do have the Hierophant here and it um, as the underlying energy. So this is like the... Um, I actually thought it was the emperor, my bad. The Hierophant is like higher truths, higher laws, higher justices. So there are like laws and cycles to nature here. We do have the Eight of Swords, which you could be feeling trapped or stuck at this time. But there is a balancing taking place for you. And then we have the card of the artist, which could be a call to write, to create something. To step into more of your artist um, sensuality. So now from the Druid Animal Oracle, we have the Spirit Guide of Fox. So I see the fox as a balancing as well, right? I see the fox, I kind of see cats as more like the feminine energy where dogs is more masculine. The reason why I see it this way is because a dog's structure is more... Um, more masculine in its build, its straight lines, where a, a cat is more um, feline or feminine in its build, where it has more curved lines. So the fox, to me, is kind of like a balancing of both. It's almost like a mixture of the masculine and feminine, which would make sense with your energy here, Libra, right? The balancing of both sides of creation. So the fox, or Sionok in Gaelic, represents diplomacy, cunning, and wildness. Sinok is a fine, graceful creature who typifies the beauty and harmony of the natural world. Working with the power of the fox, you will know when it is time to come out into the open and be counted. But you will also know when it is time to remain silent to keep your own counsel. With others, you will be able to be diplomatic and one of the attributes of the fox is being strong in counsel. One of the hardest things, if you are a person working with fox power, is to ensure that your skill and diplomacy do not become dishonesty or slyness. Remaining silent or becoming invisible so as to watch the unfolding drama is an asset that can bring with it its own special capability if it is not tempered with wisdom. <clears throat> the tradition of the fox. My blessings on the cunning ones for hunting down the sheep. Duncan Ban McIntyre. The Scottish bard McIntyre blesses the foxes for their work in keeping the sheep from destroying the landscape that he loves. Although the ancient Celts kept sheep in large quantities, primarily for their wool rather than their meat, it was much later that sheep farming took, an industrial took on industrial proportions, with vast areas of land being cleared to make way for massive flocks. Whereas the sheep is a symbol of domestication and civilization, the fox represents wildness and wilderness. Sheep graze openly on the down land, whilst foxes are adept at counseling themselves, although they can live in all sorts of terrain, both cultivated and uncultivated, including sea cliffs and sand dunes, and even on derelict sites in large cities. Their ability to hide and move swiftly and invisibly through the forest, together with their reputation for stealing domestic animals such as chickens, has associated them with ideas of cunning and trickery. But cunning and kenning come from the old English root, 
To ken means to know or to see and recognize at a distance, as in, it's beyond my ken, which means it's beyond my knowledge. The fox is seen as crafty and cunning, but behind the, this we sense that he is actually kenning, knowing, and in possession of clear vision. So the underlying energy, we have a fire dragon. interesting there's like a circle here that's broken i'm seeing um i can't remember what those bracelets are called there's like bracelets that don't quite connect and have two balls and they can actually they help with some sort of medical i don't know if it's supposed to regulate blood flow or something but i am seeing a broken cycle here which is what this fire dragon is actually representing breaking old cycles transmuting mastery and energy Fire Dragon or Drag Teeny. Drag Teeny brings vitality, enthusiasm, and courage, and an increased ability to overcome obstacles and to find the energy needed to cope with life's problems. Having the powerful dra Fire Dragon as an ally will align you with the qualities of leadership and mastery. With care, he will fuel your inner fire, which can be di directed and channeled with laser like precision to help you accomplish tasks and achieve objectives. I do want to clarify this energy here, the fox and the fire dragon. So I'm going to clarify it with the um, Celtic dragon tarot. It's kind of interesting. I'm just noticing this fox kind of like, it's almost looking sad looking towards this fire dragon. So it may be like um, requiring some assistance from the divine to help you clear something that you may be stuck on. Um, if there's something that you're like, if there's something that keeps coming around in your mind, like a, um, a situation with an individual, one of the best things I can advise is if you need to speak your peace with somebody, but you're not sure what to say, you can ask to speak from your heart, take a few deep breaths, and then kind of allow it to come out, right? Clarify the energy of the fox and the fire dragon. So we have the eight of cups, which can symbolize walking away from things too soon. You may be tired and stressed out and want to give up, but this card actually kind of warns against that. The underlying energy, we do have a King of Wands with the Three of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. So the King of Wands in this deck actually would be a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius wands in this deck represent the air elements. Then we have the three of swords. So the three of swords can represent heartache and pain. And we have the page of pentacles. So this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Please don't get caught up on the signs because the signs don't, um, don't always mean anything. But I am seeing like a father or a father and a mother or father and a son here and pains of the heart. So that even could be a cycle that you're trying to break. But there could be um, something going on with a father and a son. And that could be exactly what you're seeking guidance on. On how to, um, how to balance this energy. I want to pull a card from the language of the flowers. What is the best advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs for the Fox, Fire, Dragon, King of Wands, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, and Page of Pentacles? What is the advice? So we have two cards that want to come out. We have Fuchsia. True feelings within you is all you need to know. 
So I need, I need and call to stay true to your true feelings. And Wisteria, longevity, plan for and take the dedicated path. So now we're moving into the Wildwood Tarot. This deck right here. You have the King of Stones with the Wolf. So this is the King of Pentacles. And I do see this card as the Wolf is like trying to communicate with his intuition here with the Moon. Revered as a ruthless tracker and hunter, the Wolf has had a special symbolism for thousands of years and was the subject of ancient Pictish stone carvings. Comfortable in the dark and cold of winter, it was seen as a guardian of the dead on their journey through the night of the other world. Love of the land and of the natural world guides much of what you do. You look often to the wisdom of others and to traditional values to color your life choices. Security brings pleasure, loyalty, crowns, loyalty crowns every endeavor. Trading, speculation, mathematical ability, loyalty and conservation, steadfastness, robust health and determination. The King of Stones as a person in your life, an experienced and mature individual with a traditional mindset, pragmatic and steadfast. He or she offers a secure and comfortable reliability to those around him or her. He is a natural businessman who understands both value and profit. As a friend, he can be relied upon to keep promises or be a good financial advisor. He can also be blunt, possessive and vulgar, given to gluttony. As an aspect or process, you may need to appreciate the good things in life. Learn to handle money, cocoon yourself from outside influences. An estate or land, conservation or sponsorship, good health and financial support. Who offers you the best security or pragmatic advice? What is the intrinsic value to you or others? Where do you need to provide support? Where is life offering you its riches? So this could be a need for counsel to communicate, right? That is the opening energy. This could also be somewhat connected to your energy, Libra. I could see this as um, it is the King of Stones, which is the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus would be kind of like your um, synchronistic energy in a sense in the fact that Venus rules both Taurus and Libra's energy. <clears throat> And Venus is all about the finer things in life, the beautiful things, surrounding yourself with beauty, admiring beauty, admiring nature, admiring, admiring the good qualities. The underlying energy, we do have the card of struggle, the eight of arrows, which did come out early, earlier, feeling like trapped or stuck, like you're struggling through life at this time. You do have the green man, which is the emperor. So that's interesting that that did want to come out because I was getting the emperor's energy through the hero fan, right? So this is like empowering yourself and others through the trials and tribulations of life. Offering um, respect to others as well as yourself may bring a sense of balance because then we end with the the king of arrows, the king fisher. So the king of arrows is your energy. The king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, oh, and we did have the, did we not have the queen of swords coming out? So there could be a divine pair coming in for you. There is the two of vessels with attraction. So this is like equal opportunity, equal give and take. With the knight of stones of the horse. So this is like, um, the horse can represent freedom and strength. Um, the knight of pentacles asks that you, um, like basically slow and steady wins the race, right? Which should come through with... Um, the card of strength, right? Tempering the beast, knowing when... It's kind of like that push and pull energy, knowing when to push forward and when to pull back. Then we have the great bear here. So there may be a phase or path that you are walking at this time, but this is the card of judgment, of reawakening, of examining 
where you're going in life and where you wish to be. Then we have the card of abundance with the six of bows. So there is some sort of victory and success here for you. Perhaps you're feeling um, victorious and successful in one area of your life, but maybe not necessarily in another area of your life. But there also could be some insecurity here with the seven of arrows. So there may be a call to learn to speak and honor yourself and communicate with others your insecurities. This may help actually um, release the fear of the insecurity itself. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't pull that out. Um, so the underlying energy of the communication card, we do have the animal kingdom. So you may be really connecting to the animal kingdom at this time, whether in your physical reality or in your dream state. You could have animals that are coming through bringing messages to you. And if you don't understand the messages, one thing I would suggest is you can go on Google. If you have an animal visit in your dream and you're not sure what the dream means, you can always look up the spiritual symbolism of whatever animal comes to you, right? That may give you some insight as to what the animal is trying to tell you. Um, you may have an awareness and understand the communication. Everyone's different. Animals have a weird way of talking to us. This could be con um, a need to connect to animals in your, your real life, to tune in and listen, to explore yourself and your journey and the right path for you to take. Now, we have from the Animal Spirit Oracle, your teachers at this time, your energetic teachers. And it's interesting because the communication card was taking... Um, speaking of feathers, so feathers on your path can be a sign that your angels, your ancestors are watching out for you. They are present with you. Same with the um, judgment card, the great, um, what is it, the great bear? The polar bear can be, it doesn't always have to be, it can be connected to ancestors. It's also connected to our, to our north, to following our true north, our true destiny. Um, but with the card of commun communication, it actually did bring up the dragonfly, which is the card that came right out. It came flying right out when I was shuffling, which is all about illusions of the mind. So the dragonfly, master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, sees clearfully, joyful and magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate and busy mind. To bring into balance, focus on the breath. So taking deep breaths to calm the mind. And it's interesting because behind the animal, animal kingdom and the card of exploration, we have the card of divas, which shows a clear crystal, kind of representing a clear mind. So if you're feeling kind of um, like you have a busy mind, like you can't concentrate on one thing, Taking deep, slow breaths in and out and like deep breath in, slow and steady, filling your, your stomach and then expanding your chest until your throat hurts and then releasing slowly and repeating this a few times. Definitely has a way of calming the mind as well as grounding meditations. Um, you can ground by walking barefoot on the earth or just going for a walk in nature and breathing in the fresh air. You can also ground on um, through meditations there are lots of meditations on YouTube for grounding your energy, but this will help clear. This will help clear any confusion within the mind and awaken you to divine consciousness to help you receive true guidance from the creator, from God, the divine, your angels, your ancestors. Now, the next card that wanted to come out with the dragonfly, we have the dolphin, which is quite beautiful because dolphins are like the humans of the sea. Dolphins actually have um, their brains from what I saw online actually was their brains are like at least twice the size of our brains. 
Dolphins are highly intelligent creatures. But they also know how to play and have fun, right? Innately intelligent, healer, light, and blessings. The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on its way. When in balance, an active healer, strong spiritual practice. When out of balance, underestimates own power to bring into balance like-minded spirits. We have 115, which reduced would be a seven. So seven is your wheelhouse, Libra. And the, um, the seventh house in the Zodiac wheel is all about our emotional relationships. So there's definitely a need to, um, to, to communicate perhaps even our insecurities with people that we feel the closest to. The underlying energy, we do have the shark. So the shark basically lets you know that if you avoid things, they will continue to circle around your thoughts, much like the shark. It won't go away until you um, acknowledge it and face it. And it's kind of interesting that this card would be behind it because the lizard is actually a social creature, but it can become very scared and nervous around people, especially with the shark energy. If you have insecurities and you're holding things back, then we have the hyena, which uses um, wit and sarcasm as a defense mechanism for lower pain. So there's a need to honor and speak your truth with the crow's energy. It's crazy. I went um, to a psychic a few years ago and he actually told me I was a golden dolphin of Atlantis. And I had read um, like a blog or an essay about Atlantis and it was very funny because um, I think it was back in 2017 I started getting re this really strong connection to mermaids. <clears throat> um, even those like, you know, those quizzes on Facebook what mythical creature are you? Every time it would tell me I was a mermaid and I just had this really strong connection to them. I'm a cancer energy, so water is my main element. We do have the water triangle here, which can be your emotions as well as your healing. But it was said that there was a golden dolphin race of Atlantis and basically what they were was essentially a mermaid. Not, in, not a mermaid in the sense that we think though. So basically the golden dolphin race was... A dolphin, but it could come out of the water and transform into a human, but it could still speak in dolphin language if it wanted to. So, um, so essentially it is basically a dolphin, right? Half animal, half, half, um, or half mammal, I guess, and half human. I guess they're both. Aren't we technically mammals? Either way. So it's interesting that this is coming out like this. So there may be a call to work with sound, right? Sound, vib sound vibration, which is no surprise with the card of communication because that would be connected to the throat chakra. And the more you honor and express your truth, the more your truth um, becomes honest and authentic and starts to shift your own vibration. You become this butterfly of transformation. We do have the otter here, which is asked. The otter is a very skilled hunter, but they also like to have fun and play along their journey, much like the dolphin, right? The dolphin is a very smart creature, but it also likes to enjoy the journey as well as the process itself. And then you have the wolf coming out again, perhaps trusting your instincts a little bit more. Maybe at times you need to go off by yourself to gain some clarity to, tr to learn to trust your instincts more. And then we have the owl, which is seeing through the shadows of illusions. So owls are nocturnal creatures. The nocturnal could be your dreams, right? Tapping into your subconscious energy to do any healing work or get any guidance that you may be receiving through the nighttime hours. And then once you go through the nighttime, you come back into balance into daytime with the horse's energy. And the horse does represent strength as well as freedom. So there could be freedom from the chaos of one's own thoughts here. By following the guidance. But 
there may be a decision here. We have the two of bows. And behind that, we have the stoat, which is the page of bows, the page of wands, exploring one's passions and tradition with the nine of stones. So the nine of stones or the nine of pentacles was your future energy um, in this deck, right? These are the same cards, technically. Um, oh, and then you have that symbol again. It's almost like there's a choice here to follow tradition or break the cycle. Because you have that emblem again. Um, because following tradition can seem like the honorable thing to do. But if it's... If it's blocking you from your path, your passion and purpose, it's only going to stunt your happiness. So there's a need to maybe certain traditions you want to take forward, but maybe certain traditions, the cycle needs to be broken here so you can actually free yourself and enjoy your life on a greater level. We do have the journey here. So this is a journey of self-exploration with the queen of bows, which is the hair, which is all about cycles. The hair can be connected to witchcraft and mysticism. And then we have the king of vessels, the king of cups. So I love this. We have the queen of fire and the king of cups. So this is that balance, right? The balance of one's own passions and emotions. We have fire and water. The heron also represents good luck. It is a symbol of fortune and good luck on your personal journey. You do have this clearance. And then we have the energy of the, the shaman. So there may be shamanic healing that is happening for you, or you may even feel drawn to seek a shaman of sorts to do some energy work. And then we come back to this otter the page of vessels, this youthful inner child of honoring one's emotions and having fun and exploring on your journey. So now we're going to pull a closing message with the Avalon Magic Oracle. What is the closing message for Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs, please. So this is the image. We have a dog in the background, which is man's best friend. So this could be even if somebody, if some of you out there are considering getting a dog, maybe this is a confirmation for you. Reawaken your intuition. Allow your emotions to ebb and flow like the cycle of nature's seasons. So this is being in um, greater connection to your your emotions, right? And it's kind of funny that we have this card. This is the only card left standing after I knocked them all over. The card of temperance, the ebb and flow of one's emotions, right? Give and take energy. And then this card is drawing to me or calling to me. So we have a rabbit here, which again can represent, represent cycles and fertility. Um, rabbits um, procreate like rabbits. I mean, they procreate like crazy. So they are high in fertility. So there's definitely potential here. Reconnect to Mother Nature's world of plenty and you shall receive a myriad of miracles. So this is definitely a call to connect with and be one with nature from time to time. This will help calm the senses, still the mind and help you move forward in the best direction for you from a balanced state. So that is the reading I have for you at this time. Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs. I hope it resonates. If it does, please feel free to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. As I mentioned earlier, that'd be greatly appreciated. Feel free to share this um, channel with 500 of your closest friends as I am rebuilding from Raven Mystic Oracle. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you next time. Many blessings. Live, love, and light. Take care.